going on guys kf0 fdv the salty ham thanks for joining me again today uh, i've got a really cool uh little product for you it is uh from tid radio it is the bl1 bluetooth programming dongle very awesome i've used this multiple times super easy to use and works with a bunch of different radios so let's get into this i'm going to show you guys uh how to use it um, what the screen kind of looks like on your phone because it runs off of a phone uh, an app on your phone and uh, it's kind of cool so here we go oh so here is the uh, home page of the OD master application that you download on your phone from the Play Store and first thing you're gonna want to do is uh, when you have your dongle plugged into your radio turn that on turn your radio on and right here on the screen you'll click on the connect Bluetooth you got to make sure your Bluetooth on your phone is turned on also and I've already paired the device with it so I will turn that on so it connects connection succeeded all right so that is connected there if you go into where I already have the radio chosen of what I'm using. There's so many different kinds that you can use from Baofeng. And uh, that's it's pretty good. I'm hoping that they get more on there sooner or later. But uh, we'll see what happens. If I go and click on the Baofeng and take it back to the first menu. These are the different radios. Um, the brands of radio that you can use with this pro uh, programmer I don't have any other ones I think I've got a couple of Redivis ones I've got the uh, Redivis H777 I've got a couple of those but uh, yeah pretty pretty decent uh, list of different radios so I've chose the UV5R because that's what I'm using right now and I have it turned on and we're going to go ahead and hit read. And this is what it does when it's reading what's on the radio. We'll give that just a moment. And it's, so far, you know, it's been a real easy app to use. And it was a uh, very, uh, very, very cheap item to get. And it works as well. All right, so there we go. So the first channel is channel zero. We've got um, two meter calling frequency. You can change your channels right here to see which one what's in that channel. And I've got also a 70 centimeter frequency. Um, I believe that was a local repeater. I just don't remember which one it is. I think we can name it down here. Yes, down here you can name it. So no, you know uh, which repeater you have, and that'll show up on your screen if you have your settings correct on that. And then I believe you no, know, I know I have the NOAA frequency in here somewhere, but uh, I don't remember which one it is. But that's uh, that's how that works on that. It gives you all the different in information. You can uh, change your PL tones in here. Um, and so much to do with the, uh, the high low power here, uh, wide or narrow, um, busy lock scan add two meter call is what I've got it labeled as. All right. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. So if you did want to program something in, we're going to say that we want, I know I have, the NOAA frequency in here. I just don't remember which one I have it under. Let's, uh, let's do that. I'm going to reset everything here. And go back to channel zero. So basically just starting out with a clean slate for it. Channel zero on my receive frequency. I want it as 146.520. And the same thing for the transmit uh, frequency. 
no PL tones. I want the transmit power to be high. Wide PTTID. I don't even know if I want to have the PTTID on, so we'll turn that off. Busy lock off. Scan add. We'll turn that off for now. And we'll name this two meter call then we'll go to channel one and what I'd like to do there is reset that one you have to reset each one uh, separately and what I'm going to put in here is uh, NOAA weather frequency for our area which is 162550 and the uh, you could put the same thing in for the transmit because you're not even really going to transmit it. Which is great. Decode is off. For uh, PL tones, uh, transmit power doesn't matter because you're not transmitting on that. You're just receiving. Turn that off. Turn that one off. And that one off. And then we will name that... N O A A weather. No, well, we'll just have Noah. That'll work. All right, so that's in there. Let me go back. Oh, save. Oh, I haven't saved the whole thing yet. So. I've only changed the first channel. What I'm going to do is we're going to write to it. Here we go. There it is. And then here in just a little bit, I'll show you guys what it looks like while I'm doing this, what the, the radio is doing, so you'll know that it's working correctly. All right, uploaded, completed. So let's go ahead and look at a couple other cool items on the radio or the application here so I went back to the main menu they do have um, in the POC which is in beta uh, you can go and I guess add friends on or anything and I, I haven't added anybody um, just because these are all other users of the uh, the Bluetooth dongle um, you can add uh, friends on. It's kind of cool. Uh, right. So we go over here to the status, which is the third one over on the very bottom. And you can see what kind of uh, chats are going on and whatnot. That's kind of that's kind of cool. So if you have questions and somebody else has it because they're in the chat, where well, that means they've got it. You can go over and you can look at radio configuration so you got different configurations that people have done on their radios and they can share the file in there and uh, that's kind of cool you go over to the repeater area and um, for me it's I guess it's what it's showing and it's it's showing within a um, a hundred miles of my current location of the uh, the two different kinds of repeaters that I'm looking for so I'll hit confirm so these are all the repeaters that are in my area within a hundred miles which is kind of nice I really like this feature because I don't all you're not always gonna have um, internet now I'm, I'm gonna have to try this sometime with uh, with no signal and see if I can still pull this repeater list up and if I'm able to then uh, that'll definitely be a big bonus because it gives all the repeaters within a hundred mile radius of my current location which is uh, very 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 helpful in any kind of a situation where you need to have uh, different uh, frequencies that might be within your reach We'll go back to the program. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how that app works. I really like this app so far. Let me show you guys uh, how this 
runs when you're looking at your radio and the screen at the same time. And uh, so you, you can see what, what's blinking, what the radio does, and everything. Let's, uh, let's take a look at that. All right, so here we are. Uh, this is your radio here, and there's the dongle plugged in, green light. Power button's right up here on top. You, oh, you look at the, uh, there it is, the side. I forgot for a moment there. This is where you will open that up, and you plug your charger in for it. Let me stand this back up here. Ah, uh, there. You hold this for a second, please. Yeah, stand that up. There we go. Thank you. All right. So, you got your green light on and everything. We will go and press read. Your light will blink red here while it's reading, and the green light on there will flash. battery seems to last a real 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 long time on this thing so uh that's pretty good i mean i don't use it like every day but it's uh it's lasted for quite a while which is awesome all right so i got channel zero because i'm on uh, memory mode right now channel zeros are in channel zero there's your frequencies for that it's kind of cool so if we want to write the programming that's all in here um you make sure you just go through all of your settings for it uh you can name it i've got this one as noah and you can uh noah runs from 162 400 to uh 162 550 and 550 happens to just be the uh the most clearest frequency for me to receive that on so that's why i have that one saved um can also go to functions there and functions is for your main uh showing of like what do you want this is band a on the top and band b on the bottom um i'm going to look at band a frequency mode and you can set up different offset and whatnot uh squelch levels um all of this other you can turn your roger beep on off and and everything like that uh where is it power on messages uh there's your roger beep there your alarm mode yep all kinds of cool different things like the way i've got it set up right now for to show both frequencies and I can change it down here say I want channel B on the bottom there to show what I have it named so I can change this here to channel and name and then everything will be good on that let's go ahead and write that in there you go the lights flashing green as it's receiving what the programming is this light's flashing. Upload complete. It's going to restart the radio. And boom. Bottom one is showing uh, the name of it. And the top one shows the frequency of it. So you can still, I've got it on the top one right now. You can still change it and have your frequencies in there. And... Let's see, the bottom one will have the name. If I had, you know, those ones uh, named. <laughs> and I don't have them named because they're just kind of random frequencies that came on the radio. But there you go. There's that one. Uh, very, like I said, very cheap uh, to get. And, but very, very, very useful. Uh, definitely something to put in the like a go pack when you don't want to carry a whole laptop and and whatnot to uh to do your programming uh you got this right here it hooks up straight up to your phone all right so that's uh 
the uh, Bluetooth TID Radio Bluetooth uh, dongle, BL1 programming dongle. I will post a link to this in the description below so that you can go and get your own and check it out. I really like it. Works great. And uh, hopefully you guys like the video. Uh, like it, subscribe, share it with your friends. And hopefully we can uh, help this channel grow and I can show you even cooler things. I'll talk to you guys later. 7-3.